Hi there, my name is Nick Tiller from Sheffield Hallam University. And if you're watching this video, it's because you've agreed to participate in some research that we're running looking at lung function and respiratory muscle strength before, during and after exercise. Now, the research will essentially involve you performing various breathing maneuvers into a few different mouthpieces, and that's it's fairly straightforward. But in order for us and you to get good data when performing these tests, it's important that your technique is appropriate and, uh, and up to the challenge. So that's why I've put together this very short tutorial video showing you how to perform these lung function maneuvers effectively to help us and you to get good technique. Now obviously on the day we're going to be coaching you through the appropriate technique and giving you lots of tips and pointers, but because we're going to be a little bit short on time, it's not something that we want to be doing from scratch completely. So just take a few minutes to watch this video and, uh, and you'll be in the best possible shape when you arrive and you see us for testing on the day. Okay, so the very first maneuver that we're going to perform is called a forced vital capacity or FVC maneuver. And we're interested in two things here. First of all, we're interested in your overall lung capacity, that is how much air you can fit into the lungs and ultimately how much air you can move out of the lungs as well. But we're also interested in how quickly you can move that air out of the lungs. Okay, so your maximal flow rate or the flow generating capacity of the lungs and airways. Okay? And both of these things are basically assessed with this one maneuver. You're going, to be breathing, you're going to be breathing in and out of a mouthpiece that will look something like this, connected to a bit of respiratory equipment. You're also going to be breathing with a nose clip. I'm not going to be wearing this just now because it, uh, I can't speak properly when I'm wearing it. You're going to pop the mouthpiece in. Obviously this will be a clean, sterilised mouthpiece and you're going to make a nice tight seal around the mouthpiece itself. And you're going to take probably three or four nice, nice relaxed resting breaths, just as if you were sitting at home watching television, okay? Mm. After three or four breaths, whenever you're ready in your own time, you're going to take a maximal breath in to the top of your lung capacity. Really breathe in and inflate the lungs as deeply and as fast as you possibly can. Don't forget that the more you breathe in to begin with, the more air you can ultimately breathe out, and we're interested in your maximal capacity. So really make a conscious effort to inhale or inspire as maximally as you possibly can. Really inflate the lungs and inflate the ribcage. Then, with a pause of less than a second, you're going to blast all the air out of your lungs as hard as you can, as fast as you can, for as long as you can as well. Okay? Really work hard to empty the lungs completely, squeeze the abdomen. This might take somewhere between four or six seconds, sometimes even longer, and really work, work hard to expel all of the air from your lungs. When no more air is moving out of your lungs, you take a maximal breath in, okay? So from this one maneuver, we get your overall lung capacity, but also your maximal flow generating capacity as well. Keep going, keep going, do well, keep going, keep pushing, empty your lungs, completely empty your lungs, keep pushing, keep going, keep going, and relax. The second manoeuvre that we're going to ask you to perform is a mouth pressure manoeuvre. This has an inspiratory component when you're breathing in, called an MIP, and an expiratory component when you're breathing out, called an MEP. I'm going to do the MIP first. So we want to test how strong your respiratory muscles are. Now typically if we wanted to know how strong a particular muscle of your body was, we could take you into a gym and we could see how much weight you could lift in one single repetition. That would give us an indication as to how strong that particular muscle was. 
Now we can't really do that with the respiratory muscles, particularly the diaphragm, which is deep in the abdomen. So instead of, of looking how much force you can generate, we're going to look at how much pressure you can generate in the airway. Okay? That's our surrogate for force output. So once again, you're going to have a nose clip on, just to force you to breathe through the mouth. And I'm going to hand you the handheld device. We switch it on and we wait for the display to say zero, which it will do any second. And the little beep means we're ready to go. Now, the inspiratory maneuver is actually performed from empty lungs, okay? So the first part of the maneuver is to breathe out and empty the lungs as much as you possibly can. When the lungs are completely empty, mouthpiece goes in and you've got to pull in as hard as you possibly can and suck as much air through the mouthpiece as possible. Now this mouthpiece is going to be occluded. That means that hardly any air is going to flow through. That's important because that allows you to generate high pressure. Okay? So we're going to empty the lungs first, make sure they're completely empty, mouthpiece goes in, and then we pull in as hard as we possibly can for about five seconds, see how much pressure you can really generate. Pull, 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 keep going, keep going. Now, to test the expiratory muscle strength, so these are the muscles that you use when you breathe out, and predominantly it's the superficial abdomen. We do the same maneuver but in the opposite direction, okay? So this time I'm going to get you to take a deep breath in. So we start from the top of your lung capacity. Really inflate the lungs as much as you possibly can. This ensures that each time you do the maneuver, it's from the same lung volume. When you can't inflate the lungs anymore, the mouthpiece goes in, you're going to breathe out as hard as you possibly can. Okay? Don't forget the mouthpiece is going to be occluded, which allows you to generate high pressure. Now because when you're breathing out, you're generating high pressure, it's not uncommon for the cheeks to puff out. Sometimes that can make your ears pop. So myself or one of my colleagues will be standing behind you just applying a little bit of pressure to the cheeks. That will stop the cheeks from puffing out, it will stop your ears from popping, it will be a little bit more comfortable for you and you'll be able to get much better results that way. Okay? Once again you're going to hold the maneuver for between 3 and 5 seconds okay? and really work hard. Don't forget it's a maximal maneuver, maximal effort, so you're going to give it, um, give it some welly. So those are the two different maneuvers that we're going to be performing. The first one is the FBC, the Force Vital Capacity Maneuver, and that gives us an indication as to your overall lung capacity, but also your maximal flow generating capacity as well, your flow rates. The other maneuver, the other technique is the pressure maneuver, okay, and that has an inspiratory and expiratory component, and that gives us an indication as to how strong your respiratory muscles are, and more specifically, if there is a change or a reduction in respiratory muscle strength with exercise. Typically, we do somewhere between three and five of each maneuver. We give you about 30 seconds rest in between each one. The idea is that we need to generate consistent results. Okay, so as soon as we get three efforts that are fairly close together and that give us nice consistent results, consistent data, then we'll be able to finish that particular maneuver and move on. Okay? Please feel free to watch the video over again just so you can become as fully familiarized with the different techniques as possible before, before arriving for testing. And if you have any questions relating to procedures or any of the protocols that we're using in the research, then don't hesitate to get in contact. 
Thanks for watching and I look forward to meeting you all very soon.